He has won more awards than any other male Canadian country artist and now being inducted into the Canadian Country Music Hall of Fame. Paul Brandt is here. Good morning to you. Good morning. Great to see you and congratulations are in that, order. That sounds so weird to me. I mean, when they called me, I was driving and they were like, so we just want to let you know that you're being inducted. And the comment after the conversation was, I think it's the first time I've ever heard you at a loss for words. Because I was like, what do you say to Silent me? Silent in the vehicle. I almost drove off the road. Like, I mean, it's amazing to hear this. Wow. I'm pretty excited about it. You know, I, um, the song My Heart Has a History as well, we yes. just found out, has been the most played country song in Canadian history. Yes. But now we just had I'm an Open Road with Jess Moskaluk. It just went gold. And so it's like, I'm feeling weird because I'm getting pulled back to like the celebration of a career, but we're heading to Nashville next week to record new music. Yes. So I just figured we'll just keep going. We're having you're a good not time. done yet. No, we're having a great time. There's it's been lots fun. of time. Okay, so it's a phone call. So they phone you. Yeah, they called me up, uh, the president of the CCMA, and, and he, he's like, you know, talking about how excited he is about this and everything and, and uh, it was a pretty surreal feeling you know I remember working at the Children's Hospital mm -hmm. and I had a job offer to go work at ICU and a record deal offer in the same week and I had to decide what I was gonna do right and um, I'm glad Plenty that I did doors. what I did yeah absolutely it was one of those moments yeah. and and uh, and so yeah I mean I, I love this because what I get to do with my platform you know with announcements like this is raise awareness for causes and different things that you know I'm really passionate about and excited mm -hmm. about and the fans have been behind me supported me this community has you know yes. for years and yeah. I'm thankful for that. You yeah. know, use the platform to do good things. That's what it's all about. Okay, and we're going to get into an issue that uh, that you're aligned with here coming into Stampede. But just really quickly, I want to find out who did you phone? did you phone your wife first? What did you do after that? Yeah, I did. did you pull over? I did, and I called her, and, and just you know, I mean, Liz has been such an important part of this journey for me right from the beginning. She has sung on every piece of music that I've recorded, and uh, you know, we actually met at an event singing together, and and so she's uh, um, you know, strategically and musically, um, emotionally. You know, everything yeah. that it takes, she's been there for me. So, yeah, I, she was definitely the first call. Yeah, you need to have that grounding, that grounding person in your life. Whenever I get too far above my raising, she gives me a good swift kick in the butt. Oh, come on. <laughs> Absolutely. I can't, I can't see that happening. I think you have Every your once feet in a while. currently planted on the ground. Okay, uh, so you've brought along a scarf here. Yeah. And this, is, this is really interesting. And uh, there's, there's a benefit concert taking place just ahead of the greatest outdoor show on earth, which, of course, you've been involved in for the last couple of years. So, tell us a little bit about what's taking place. Yeah. You you know, so um, the, um, the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Trudeau, he just came out with a, an announcement of his renewed support um, for um, the fight against human trafficking. Uh, traffickers and people, you know, you got to take a minute to really listen to what I'm saying because people don't think about this mm -hmm. happening. It seems unreal. But underage girls are being trafficked across Canada and to, here at home. to large entertainment and sporting events across the whole country. Um, you know, they're targeting the F1 race right now, and there was a big announcement around that. And we want to make sure that that kind of activity, that people have awareness about it, that it's happening here in Calgary, and that that doesn't become what our events become about. You know, I, I think everyone in this community can agree that the exploitation of children for sex is wrong. Yes. And so we want to raise awareness for that. It's a difficult topic, but it's a topic that people are going to find themselves on one side of history or the other. Mm -hmm. When we look back, there are more slaves today than there have been ever in history. Mm -hmm. And it's time for people to take a stand about it. So we're raising awareness. We have a kickoff event at Dean House. It's going to be a swanky affair. Yes. And if people go to uh, notinmycity.ca, they can learn more about what we're doing. The students at Mount Royal University have helped me to put this campaign together. Okay. I'm working with them there. So these bandanas... Um, this beautiful scarf that was designed by Paul Hardy, your friend, my friend Paul Hardy, um, will raise awareness for the Not In My City campaign and it gives you an opportunity to wear the yellow rose and raise awareness for this cause and uh, you know we're hoping that this will be something that will not be in our city um, for years and years to come. Well the first point is the conversation and the awareness That's and right. we commend you of course on your involvement in humanitarian Thank you. efforts Thank and you. well deserved to be inducted into the Hall of Fame and we look forward to what the future has in Thanks store. so much, I appreciate yes, it. Continued success. Thank you for joining us.